Does the world of tennis have something against Asian players right now, or is it just a coincidence that this seems to keep happening? Yeah, this went viral in the tennis world, Andrew. And of course, Andrew, silly to serious. It started out silly. It even got a little geopolitical. Make sure you uh... like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. Let's run the viral clip circulating right now involving Zhuang Shui and Amarissa Toth. I thought it was good. Amarissa Tor isn't sure. Normally when you kind of linger. Oh, no, it is wide. Can you believe this? She has retired from this match. I mean, we saw the doctor there. Clearly nothing is wrong with her. She was in floods of tears at the, the sit down there was Zheng Shui. Long story short, Andrew, Zhang Shui hits it. It's actually in, according to the video, the umpire and the supervisor call it out. You know, she wants to protest. It turns into a whole thing. Toth is taunting her. The crowd starts taunting her. And uh, Zhang Shui is just like, you know what? I give up. I'm going to retire from this match. Toth throws her hands up. The tennis world went against Toth and supported Zhang Shui. Right, and then Toth sends out a, an apology that doesn't seem super genuine, but probably just because she had to. Um, I guess... Right here, David, and we're going to go into the comment section because there's a lot of different comments and perspective on it. But I guess, like, for me not being a natural tennis player, I was surprised to find out some things about the game of tennis and how much etiquette and sportsmanship is part of it. Right, Unlike, so you're saying this is why this is going viral right Yeah, now. it's a little bit different, but I don't think a lot of people understand this about tennis, right? It's like the, the respect that the tennis players are supposed to have for each other. It's not a trash-talking sport like basketball where you're saying mean things at each other at the free throw line and stuff like that to get into their head. Like, this is, it's not as much of the sport. No, you this know is I mean? a country club sport. Yeah. This is a sport that has been typically played by the upper middle class and wealthy people of the world, right? Yeah, and while I think that umpires of any sport and any referee can make a missed call, there's bad calls in basketball, there's this, that, we all, even with, with replay, they can still yeah. make a bad call because to overturn it, you have to have, like, more than reasonable doubt and all this stuff. But I guess, like, uh, yeah, I guess her stepping and erasing the mark was really disrespectful. I mm. guess it wasn't illegal, Maybe right. not a violation quite, but her stepping to show where the ball had landed, right. had the, that the ball had landed on the line to step on it. I think it was extra step. disrespectful because while she's doing it, Zhang Shui is asking her to not do it because right. she still wants somebody to come examine Yeah, it. so it kind of like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then she's like, I'm doing it. And yeah. people are like, ooh, whoa. And uh, coupled with the recent disqualification of Kato for accidentally hitting the ball towards the ball girl and hitting the ball girl in France, Andrew, everybody's looking at Hungarian Grand Prix like, yo, What's going on? Is there a conspiracy against Asian women in pro tennis? All right. Well, we're going to talk about it because there is a theory, but I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> so, hey, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let's get into the comment section. Somebody said literally every single one of their peers agreed that Toth was disrespectful and they supported Zhang Shui. So what does that show you? Mm. I mean, does that show you, Andrew, the fact that the tennis world went with Zhang because she has a good reputation. She's been a pro for a number of years. This with Toss, I think Toss, by the way, she's half Thai and half Hungarian, looks more Asian, but uh, people was more going with Zhang Shui. I think it was bad because Toth already got the point and that she didn't have to step on it out of spite. You know what I mean? Mm. She did it to punk her. She said, oh, you don't want me to erase it? Bam! Even though she she could have just left it because the call already happened. Right. Do you think she was also yelling at her, you are creating problem? Like, do you think she was doing that because she was on her home turf in Hungary and she's Hungarian? Yeah. I mean, I also, you know, maybe there is a, some anti-China thing. I don't want to want to call uh, Toth racist because right. she is half Asian, so maybe I will give, you, give her the benefit of the doubt for that. But... It could be an anti-China thing. Right, what if she tried to justify and go, no, 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 no. The, the fact I don't like Zhang Shui is from my Thai side. Yeah, it's from the <laughs> Thai side. It's not my Hungarian But Thai side. people, I don't think they hate Chinese no, people no. either. That's not... I, I think the older ones. But anyway, yeah. Uh, the Hungarian GP, Andrew, the Grand Prix official account, came out and said, China is releasing manipulative video trying to manipulate the world. And Andrew, this is where it got geopolitical. Ooh. Um, so long story short, Andrew, they were saying that the clip got taken out of context because it is missing the fact that there was a point right after um, 
the bad re the bad call before she wiped it. So does that show that the video we showed earlier was manipulative? Uh, it was edited. It cut out some part in between, but does that change that her behavior was unsportsmanlike? Right, because you can clearly see she did everything even if there's like a point missed in between. Right, you're saying that there was a play in between. It didn't happen right after. Yeah, I, I don't know if that changes anything, but yes... Yes, the yeah, video I could see from the video if you think that she's wiping it while before the umpire's coming to look at it, that would be really horrible. Yeah, but the umpire had actually made the call already. Right, and that's why a lot of people are accusing the umpire of potentially being anti-Asian or anti-Chinese because you can see that it's in so she marks it so out. So people are saying potentially that the umpire, aka the officials and the referee, and the player were both being kind of like disrespectful. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying, guys. Listen, the ah. tenet, tennis world is the tennis world, man. I can only tell you what I see. Um, somebody said, I noticed the institution of tennis seems to be against any Asian female player. Why does this pattern happen over and over again? Amarissa Toth has the worst PR ever now. This is white privilege. And someone said, what do you mean white privilege? They're both Asian. Someone said, no, one of them's half white, whether she looks it or not. Obviously, Amarissa Toth, more Asian is passing. Hungarian, so I, I guess if Hungarian is white in this case. Yeah, yeah, more white for sure, even though, yeah. Um, yeah, what do you think, man? Do you, do you think that there's any enough evidence to prove or is this a result of there's just a lot more pro-Asian female tennis players nowadays? Like, there's a lot more pro-Asian female golfers. They make up a much larger proportion of that pie and growing every year. Well, I, I think it's tough to tie the Kato situation and the Shui situation together as far as uh, a geopolitical thing. Because, what, people hate Japan, too? Because then you can't use the whole, like, oh, they're hating on Chinese players argument. Right, you're saying that, but you could say that they don't like East Asian players. Yeah, I think the only theory that has any sort of validity, and I'm not sure if it does, is the one where people feel like since Asian female players are on the rise, they want to hold them back or punish them for possibly replacing a lot of European or white female tennis players. Right. Right, this is replacement theory. You mean, you mean how... For example, a lot of Asian female pro golfers have replaced a lot of European women on the pro LGBT. Uh, LPGA. Yeah. LPGA, yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, but yeah, so I would say that I think that's the only theory that I, I can see. You know right. what I mean? Like, I got, I, and I'm not sure if that's true. I don't want to necessarily throw the whole tennis federation under the bus, but I, I can't say no, right? It's an old world society, man. They might not like people messing with the old world order. Well, um, somebody said the sinophobia was loud AF. Wow. And somebody said, yeah, it's well-deserved. The sinophobia is well-deserved. Of course, Andrew, this is where the whole geopolitical thing comes into play, right? Let me ask you this, David. Is it? Do you think the sinophobia might be worse and harsher in the tennis world because tennis is more of a richer sport? As in, if you saw a bunch of Asian basketball players that were super good and could play in the NBA that they might just they might just let them play. Or I don't like, know. Well, I know, definitely know some Asians said that Jeremy Lin didn't get the calls at the rim, though, with the contact. You, so you did hear that theory, too. That could have been because he's not a superstar either, though. Yeah, I don't know. No, that's what like, so hey, like we're saying, guys. Hey, I'm not here to oversubscribe to any one because thing. I'm just here to ask the questions. Yeah. I think we need to see a larger sample size, but this pattern is in my tennis is mind. Is to a pattern? I need to see if they do that to the guys. I don't know if there's enough Asian men that are competitive on that yeah. level in the tennis world yet. Yeah. But, but I, I think Amarissa Toth being half Asian, it clearly goes to show you that Asian women are clearly making their way into tennis. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot how to say her name. Radu, 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 Radu Kamu, Radu Kamu and uh, also Naomi Osaka, half Asian. Right, right. I guess, like, maybe there's just enough... Asian women that are playing tennis that more of these bad I, I see calls what you're saying. There, there, are going to happen. You there's know? such a volume of interactions with Asian women now in the pro tennis world. Somebody said her apology just felt so forced because of the backlash she received. You can look at her eyes. There's not a single ounce of regret. Let's play toss for uh, apology. All right, just getting into our takeaways. I do think that racism looks different in tennis than it does in a very more violent sport like football or basketball. I do mm. think, like you said, there's so much stuff that is subjective about like line in, line out. They don't necessarily, especially on clay, they're not using the robot sensors. You know, it, it, like you said, there's a lot more about decorum. Yeah, in tennis, yeah. So I think like there's such a focus on sportsmanship. Like if this was any other sport almost, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. And also I do think, let's be honest, 
that there might be a different expectation for women to be like more mm. nicer to each other. Right, because they don't have the John McEnroe's and things like right, that. Right, like John, yeah, John McEnroe was known to be an a-hole, right? But right. I'm saying like, you don't really want to see an a-hole women, female tennis player because female tennis players are supposed to be like more... You know, like womenly, like like women like is what they would want. No, it like, is true. The ones dude, that are really popular, they generally look really good in a dress. And yeah, stuff and like they, and they're more sweet. And and Shuai is has a very re a good long reputation of being sweet. She's also been in uh, playing tennis for many years. And then everybody's like, so when it, it's almost like people that people don't like Toth bringing the nastiness to tennis. Yeah, right? it just got a little dirty and catty. And yeah. I think that's when people are like, oh, we might be losing the tennis world, and the tennis decorum is right. falling apart. Because it, listen, we have women. Women's no. tennis players fighting hey, each other. Listen, I don't want to lend anything to this replacement theory of like European players in tennis, Andrew, but if we look at the hierarchy of how big the balls get in sports, it goes squash, badminton, golf, tennis, cricket, baseball, volleyball, soccer ball, basketballs. That's like, and football's in somewhere other than in ranking because it's not spherical, right? But like, I'm saying th this is like, it seems like Asians are getting better and better each level. You know what I mean? They, they started at the small sports, squash, golf. And they're just moving up the list. You mean they're being really good at the sports with small balls? Yeah, because those are uh, probably, what, less power, less power sports, less height related? More technical, yeah, maybe, you know, smaller movements. Yeah. I do think that, like I said, I don't know how much Europeans are scared or trying to be racist about, like, getting replaced in the median. But I do think that when you see a dominant player in a sport, Andrew, that's from a different place, like Shohei Otani or Ichiro when they were dominating the MLB, mm. it's different than when you feel like, all the players in the middle, the median average player is becoming a foreign face. Mm. I think more people are okay with like, even let's just say basketball, Jokic and Luka are starting to dominate the NBA and Giannis, he's from Greece, even though he's Nigerian. Like, it's like, that's, it's okay because the median player is still American. Right, right, right. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know, guys. You let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I'm not... I, I don't want to say I'm convinced that there is a conspiracy against Asian players yet, but definitely this raises some questions. And I do think that, yeah, people in the tennis world, I don't know, maybe they're feeling the heat of all these Asian tennis players coming up. Anytime there's a 50-50, go against the Asian oh, player. No, I'm man, just kidding, maybe. guys. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't think it would happen in America, to be honest, all these things. I think these are old world countries with old world rules that... That fav to, that's my honest opinion. I think they do things different in Europe than in America because it's that's the old world. Yeah, possibly. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.